strangeness to it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be learning how we can create a dynamic data source for your pivot table. Here you can see that there is a pivot table, there is a graph which is getting generated from it, and the pivot table is taking data from this data sheet, right? I just, just want to show you how this works. So I'm going to be uh, updating the table here by adding some data and going back to the pivot. If I click on refresh, then that data got updated, which means that the data source is dynamic already. Right now, just want to say that uh, there's another way of doing this, which is by converting the uh, data source to a uh, uh, a table by formatting the data source to a table. Now we're, we're not going to be talking about that because uh, that's talked in another video and uh, this video is uh, all about if in case you're unable to format uh, the data source to a table, what do you do, right? Now I'm just going to be uh, flipping to another sheet where we have uh, another similar setup where the dynamic thing is not set up. Now, if I go back to the data, and if I uh, copy and paste the data here and see if it works, it won't, right? Let's also check the uh, data source. You can see that the data source is only till here. It's not recognizing that I've mentioned something inside under that, right? Let's just quickly set that, and that's by using a named range. Now, in order to do a named range, we go back to the data, and we'll also see, uh, we're going to be using a function called as offset. And we'll first see what's the uh, syntax for offset that is equal to offset. And then you put the reference, the rows and columns, the height and width, right? Now, we're going to be telling the named range to remember uh, the kind of selection, the kind of dynamic selection that we need, right? Which is what? We need the starting from here then we need the Excel to select all the way till here and then till here, right? Now, how do we select till here? By counting how many number of data is here, right? That's how we do it. And how many uh, data is, how many cells with data is still here. And that's how we tell Excel that uh, this is what we need as a selection, right? Now, let's just quickly do that. Go back to the formula and go for name range. And one thing you have to remember is in the new name manager, when you use formulas, you are not going to be having uh, uh, directions like the ones you have here, right? When you put the offset and when you go here, it tells you like reference, rows, columns. You don't have these directions in the name manager. So you're going to be remembering what's the syntax and then going here. Now, I'm going to be put in uh, pivot range and I'm going to be uh, mentioning it as data exclamation. That's where the uh, data lies, right? That's the data sheet. And then we're going to be starting over here, right? So that's what? OK, we should start the formula with offset. Sorry about that. And then data, right? Exclamation. And then we should be starting with A1. That's what? Dollar, dollar A, dollar 1, right? That's where we start. Then we don't have anything in the next. We don't have anything in the next. And then we're going to be mentioning the height, right? Remember the syntax. That's what count A and then dollar A, dollar A, right? So dollar A, exclamation, dollar A. Now again, count A. Then again, we're going to be counting the number of uh, uh, number of cells with data in this uh, row here. So which is 1, 1. So again, $1 and $1. That's all. Now just close this and click on Enter. And you have the pivot range here. Just remember this is the name that you need to give. Go back to the sheet 3. right? And then you just go here, go for Analyze, Change Data Source and just change this name to pivot range. That's all. If you change that, 
Now if you go back to the change data source, you can see that it's updated till here. Now even if I change or even if I give some extra data, let's see I'm putting some extra data, right? You see the selection was only till here before. If I give some extra data and going back here, change data source, it's going to be taking all the way till here, right? Yeah. And also, if you go back to the pivot and if you update, it's going to be updating as well, right? That's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much and stay tuned.